Impact Wrestling fans on CCW Live making his way to the ring. Ernest R. Alexander, ERA, your girlfriend's favorite wrestler. And as you can see, he is nursing an injury. That arm is in a sling, that left arm. He was supposed to have a match tonight against Jackal Stevens. I guess ERA is going to be joining me on commentary. Alexander, welcome to the broadcast table. Oh, How's thanks. that arm doing? Oh, it's doing great, Dan. The men, thank you so much for having me. You know, I may, I may be a little hurt right now, and I'm not going to say whose wrestler's girlfriend's house I was at because it created quite a stir up. But the shoulder's good. I should be healed up pretty soon. The great news is I got a surprise for the CCW crowd. Is that right? Oh, Tonight yeah. you got a surprise? I don't want to give too much details, Dan, man, uh -huh. but it's a surprise. All right. Now, from what I understand, that injury is just a deep bruise. Nothing just okay, nothing fractured. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no fractures, no tears. Just a bone bruise, shoulder sprain. Should be back sooner than you know it. Well, this match we're supposed to be in right now. Jackal Stevens taking on a very unorthodox and controversial wrestler in Beasley. Oh, yeah. That can, that can spell trouble for Jackal Stevens and be prepared for an athlete like Ernest or Alexander and he's getting somewhat of an animal. I mean, at the end of the day, if he's a fighting champion like he claims he is, he should be ready for any opponent. You know, you know Dan, if I was the champion, which let's be honest, I will be, but if I was the champion, it doesn't matter who came out. I'd be ready, ready to fight, ready to win, because that's all I do. The reigning and defending CCW Southeastern champion, he must be so happy that he's not fighting ERA today. He must be thanking whoever he prays to right now that he's not fighting ERA. Well, as you said, he is a fighting champion. He'll take on all colors, whether it's you or whether it's Beasley. Jack and Steve is not going to back down from the well, well, let's see Let's see how he does against Beasley, because he will. he's prepared for me. He's not ready for Beasley. Well, here's the thing, Dan. I won the Battle Royal at the at the, uh, the Bash of the Brew show. I won a shot at the championship. Me and Jackal fought, but he got himself disqualified. So my shot still stands. Now, whether it's against Jackal or if I want to cash that in against another champion, that is my decision. And I will let everyone know when I choose fit. Well, that's what like revision is history, in my opinion. <laughs> Got himself disqualified? Yeah, yes. Had nothing to do with that. Um, um, hang on a second, Dan, because you know, being in the business for so long, that a chair and a championship title should not be sitting, cannot be sitting next to the steel steps. So what I did, I grabbed both, brought them into the ring to give the attention of the referee so she can move it. But what happened was, Jackal took the title from me and tried to use it on me, but ended up hitting the referee. So that's why he got disqualified. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, that's a well thought out rebuttal. Ooh, no well thought out rebuttal. That's exactly what happened. You were there. You saw it. Well, let's turn our attention to what we have here in front of us. Mr. Alexander, Beasley getting the opportunity of a lifetime to go after that Southeastern Heavyweight Championship. And you the get bell him, Beasley. Sounds. Beasley. Boy, look at him. That is a scary looking individual. Oh yeah. You see, I had a talk with Beasley. I told him, wear down Jackal. If you can if you can win the championship, do it, and we'll come to terms down the line. But you wear down Jackal. Wear him down. Well, Jackal Stevens out of the gate. Going underneath the clothesline. Oh, what an incredible piece of now turning the tables with a pair of chops and a big four and a draw. Jackal Stevens now in trouble in the corner. Oh, what a boot by Jackal and a light bench chop. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at, look at Jackal resorting to hair pulling. Body hair pulling. He always has to do those little cheats to win. That's Jackal Stevens. Good clothesline. Ooh. Oh, the top rope there. Now Cody down on the floor. 
Carolina. Ooh, that must have hurt. And of course, some video out there. Jocko's got to keep an eye out for her because she could do some damage out there. She also needs to pay attention to down and the steal now. Up to a three count. Light fetch chop up against the apron of the ring. Ooh, these two are firing back with a double chop. You do not want to get on a fist fight with a crazy man. Ooh, beastly driving the back of Jackal Stevens into the apron of the ring. And then a forearm shiver. And again, one to the jaw. Beastly into the ring to break the count. Rolling right back out. Look at that. Beastly was just getting the attention of the crowd, and there goes Jackal Stevens cheating to win again. Thick. Drops him across the guardrail there. Stevens with Beastly throwing him back into the ring. Stevens now looks like he's going to oh, the come top. Come on, come on, Beast. Come on, Beast. Don't let him do that to you. There you go. With a double slap right to the keister. Enough to knock him off balance. Jackal Stevens now in a very precarious position. He's hung up in the tree of woe. Beastly. <laughs> Going to work on the midsection now. I love it. Man, you really must be enjoying this, huh? Oh, my, you have no idea. This is better than being with Jackal Stevens' girlfriend. Well, almost. Oh, he's got him in position for a tombstone pile driver. Look out. Stevens in trouble, but no, he escapes. Brings him up. What a tremendous show of strength. Snake eyes. Jackal Stevens now with the right hand and a boot to the midsection. Reversal by Beast hard into the buckle. Boy, that ring moved about two or three inches. Oh, absolutely. Beastly is one of the most toughest competitors in the state of Florida. Jackal Stevens has definitely got his work cut out for him. Most toughest? Most toughest. Yes. Yeah. The Super toughest. Him right into the corner. Jackal Stevens in serious trouble now. Beastly. Oh, Beastly's gone. It's Had over. With all to pull him out. Away from the road. He only got a two count. What a slow count. I think that could have been a three if it was a regular count. Uh, I think that count, Davids was just fine. He's a little bit of a hair. Referee admonishing him. But you see, the referee's getting on Beastly, but what about when Jackal was pulling on Beastly's body hair? The referee didn't have anything to say there. I think he was flabbergasted and excited. <laughs> Stevens now looking for a way out. Beastly with a handful of hair. Nvidia distracted the referee. Looks like he's going for a neck breaker here. Nicely done, well executed, but Beastly Beast is getting too not capitalizing. He's sitting there instead of going for the cover. Oh, that's a bad Is that something you can do or would oh, you go for the definitely cover? not. I would go immediately for the cover. I'm trying to win. Oh, and Laxadies will cover at that. See, that's why Beastly's just wearing him down for me. Excuse me? Beastly's just wearing down Jack for me. You have some kind of an agreement to pay off of all I plead the fifth. Reversal by Beastly now. Dips his head though. Stevens with a kick to the chest. This is a close line. There it is. Beastly catches with a knife and a chop to the chest. Beast has him by the ears. Referee calls for the break. Is he biting him? Oh He's my, he is him. biting him right in the head. <laughs> I love seeing Jackal Stevens suffer though. Oh, come on, yeah, Beastly. Right oh, to come him. on. Referee, What's call for, for the, the bell. This is good for the gander. Oh. Goes for the cover one. Just a one count. Stevens now with Beastly. I think Beastly has got to be hit by the arm. Is he biting on him? He's, he was biting his arm. BC will do anything, anything, whatever it takes to win. BC now with Stevens and a handful of hair. BC taking his time to make the for a stutter. Get out, power bomb, beautifully executed. Get out of here, two. I do not like him, but I've been on the, uh, the receiving end of that sky high. It hurts. Jackal Stevens now trying to make his way back to his feet. There he comes. The crowd getting behind Stevens as Beastly crawls to the ropes, pulling himself up by the ropes now, but he's stuck in the corner. Stevens with boots to the chest. This is disgusting. The fans are getting behind a cheater. Jackal Stevens, your champion, a cheater. Oh, Beastly <laughs> out of the way of that cannonball. 
That was amazing. Stevens clutching at his lower back, but I saw his head and neck snap off the bottom. Of the bottom oh, yeah. Of the, uh, oh, yeah. Right off that bottom rope, possibly the uh, apron of the ring. The tables have turned. It's Beastly's time to attack. Beastly's got a handful of hair again. He was going for that double underhook. Jackal nicely executed. Reversing into a backslide. If he can get him over, and he does. One, two. Section and a rake in the back. See, right there, I would have finished the match and won. Number 165th way, I would have won this match. You got a lot of ways to win, huh? Oh, absolutely. And how come you're not the champion? Uh, why well, you gotta bring up old stuff, Dan? Come on. That's what's up. Stevens across the rope. <laughs> rope first. He goes for the cover. One, two. That was so close. Able to power out early. So close. See, this doesn't matter. It ends up regardless being good for me. Because if Jackal Stevens wins this match, Jackal's beaten down. He's not 100%. It's, he's going to be slim pickings. But if Beastly wins, well, come on. I can beat Beastly. I can beat both of them. I have no problems. <laughs> Now, see, everything seems to be laying out for you. Well, oh, it always uh, does. I got life pretty much figured out. Nice set, not overshot him just a bit. Not sure he got enough, and he did not. Hey. Only a two count. Crowd again getting behind Jackal Stevens. Of course, a group of cheaters supporting him. Turning the tables, gets him in the corner. Two, come on. There by Stevens. No, back hold. Put on the brakes. Almost down. Oh, man. Why do referees always go down in Jackal Stevens matches? I mean, this is just something he plans for. Oh, the slam. He has it, but the referee is down. <laughs> One, two, three. Doesn't oh, count. Doesn't on. count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. We need another referee out here. No, we don't. The referee will come to eventually. Oh, you want to bring out another Here referee? Comes Adrian Paz. So you can knock out another referee, Mr. Stevens. Stevens now going to the top. The referees trying to rouse. Andy Do Sheely. not Wait put your Nvidia. hands on a woman. Do not put your hands on a woman. Nvidia grabbing the leg. She was trying Jack to help him. Stevens. I just saw her trying to help him stay up there, trying to balance him out. You and I are looking at two different matches. Oh. Beastly going after Stevens, but Stevens able to get him off. Stevens now on the top rope. Beastly out of the way. Oh, oh he walked right into a distance. Beautiful form. shot. Nice Game. Move. Could have been a brain bust. I'm not quite sure. Game over. He's going for a pile driver, a power. And now power bomb. He's got him. Two. Oh, so close. Wow. Almost had a new champion there. Beastly can't believe it. The crowd really behind Jackal Stevens. They thought that was it. Applauding at the kick out. Got to give it to Jackal. That took intestinal fortitude, but he's still nowhere near an ERA's level. <laughs> Here comes the crowd, Will and Jackal. Trying to cheer him on. Beastly going to the top. Unfamiliar territory for the Beast. Oh, that diving headbutt. Stevens barely out of the way. Come on, Beast. Both Come on, Beast. Down. Andy Seale has been carted to the back. Adrian Paz now the official for this match. The crowd now coming to life. It's good. We have a shorter referee. Hopefully, Jackal will knock out this one. Jackal blocks the right hand and again fires one of his own. Three right Look hands. Look at those close Four. fist shots. Why isn't the referee Jackal saying all anything? Over Beast. Reversal by Beasley. Under a close line. Oh! Springboard and back kick. Jackal Stevens got him up to the top rope. He goes. Come on, Beasley. Turn around. Watch out. Oh, he nailed oh, no. to that blockbuster. Perfectly executed. Somehow, Beasley rolling over to his Still knees. Still got fight in him. Feet. Oh! Drops him right across that knee. That could do it. One, Kick out. Two, Kick out. And three. Wait a minute. Ernie R. Alexander. Give him that belt. 
referee Adrian Pond. You want me to give you this belt? For the Southeastern Championship. ERA grabbing it, not giving it up. You'll get your opportunity, ERA. Give that belt to the referee. Enjoy it for now. Jackal Stevens, your winner of the match, and still Southeastern Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, you enjoy that. Enjoy holding on to it for now. We are ready to question on everybody's mind. Will you be ready for a match at the pool on April the 8th? Well, whether I'm available or whether I'm not, there's one thing for sure about ERA. That's nothing for sure. <laughs> Bye, wrestling fans. You heard it from ERA. I'm not quite sure what he said, but we'll be right back with more on CCW Alive Wrestling. You heard me. You just don't want to listen. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear. 